So Gaffer, uh, we welcome Ipswich Town on Saturday. It'll be another tough test. They're in really good form coming into uh, the game, aren't they? Yeah, they've had a good start to the season. Um, obviously a big club in this division. They, they'll have aspirations of being at the top end of the table this season. So I think it's a good test for us and it'll be yeah, a good barometer of where um, where we're going to be ourselves and our, our own aspirations this season. So um, if we want to be up there coming the end of the season, then we're going to have to uh, be able to compete uh, and get results against clubs like Ipswich. So it'll be, I'll be interested to see after 90 minutes um, where we are in terms of performance and result against someone like Ipswich. Yeah. And coming into the game, there's a few injury concerns, little niggles here and there. How are uh, Matty Virtue and Sully Kaikai ahead of the game? Um, I don't think Matty's going to make it for Saturday. Um, Sully's been back on the grass for an, a few days uh, doing some football specific movements. So, with 48 hours to go, we're still hopeful that he might make it. Um, and obviously, Oli Sarkic had to come off at half time of Accrington the other night. So, he's had a scan, we're waiting for the results on that. So, he would be a doubt at this moment in time. And October's a relentless month with lots of midweek games, so it'll be a good opportunity on Saturday to, to get that win, build some momentum over what will be a difficult few weeks coming up. Yeah, and that's what we want to do. There's there's lots of games coming up, like you said, and um, performance-wise so far, there's been uh, lots to be pleased about. I don't think we've had the results that we our performances have possibly merited. However, there are still things that we can improve on and learn from, uh, from all the games. Um, but I'm confident if we keep performing the way we, we, we are, then eventually the results will turn in our favour. And when they do, um, then hopefully we can pick up some like you say, some quick wins in a short period of time because there's, there's lots of games to play in October. And lastly, you've brought in a couple of defensive reinforcements in Dan Ballard and Dan Gretzen recently. What will they bring to the team? Yeah, it's an area of the pitch that we wanted to strengthen. Um, I think some defensive reinforcements, obviously for the season we've got coming up, is important to have competition in all the places in the, in the, within the squad. Um, Danny Ballard is um, a player I've been aware of coming through um, the academy at Arsenal. Um, he's captain in the under 23 team and he's got full international caps. Um, so he's a commanding, aggressive centre half who, um, again, is captain of the 23, so he's got some leadership qualities. And Daniel is a, a player that um, has been on our radar for a number of months through uh, our recruitment process. Um, we're delighted to have finally have got him in the building. Um, he obviously, come from his team in Norway um, and he'll obviously take a period of time to adapt and different different country, different game, different um, different way of playing the game. Um, so um, I'm really excited to have both of them in the building. I think they give us a really good balance to the squad um, and I can't wait to work with them.